way. In today's video, I wanted to go over the introduction to lunging. I've got uh, Flying Blue here. This is the fifth day of working with him. Oh, a week or so ago, he came from North Dakota and um, just been working with him and now I'm preparing him. He's on his way to France, so we've got to get him to be able to be haltered and leading and moving around and then we're going to play with some trailer loading here if all goes well. So right now in his, in his learning stage is it's about getting control over the hind end and the front end. Yesterday we worked on getting him to follow a feel, you know, the three, three pieces of leading, getting them to follow a feel, getting them to unlock their feet, and then getting them to go forward. So he's doing pretty well with that. This is his second time being out of the round pan, so he's a little bit more up here, especially this end of the arena. You know, his girls are over there, and so he's, he's a little bit more up, but he's still being pretty cooperative. So what I want to do to prepare for lunging is, can I control the hind end and the front end? And this is turning on the forehand, turning on the haunches. So what I'm going to do is step off to the side here. I'm going to focus on the hind end. I'm going to throw an intent. I'm going to get an intent on the hind end, then I'm going to create a little energy with my stick to say, hey, move your hind end. And as soon as he does, I soften and release. I'm like, ah, oh, thank you. He walks off. I'm going to focus on the hind end again, saying move your hind end over. I also have a feel on my, on the lead rope here to say, no, you can't just leave. So I want to create a little bend in his nose, talk to the hind end. There, and that's nice. And he, he doesn't know this yet, so I'm just, as soon as he steps over, I give that to him. And now I'm going to set it up and do it again. So I throw an intent. I get a picture of what it is I want first. There, he got a little bothered because it got around his front foot. So I get a picture of what it is I want first, and that is, can he move his hind around the front? And then I create some energy in my body to say, hey, that is what I want. And then my tool shows up to back up my picture there. And as soon as he moves the hind end away, I soften. He wants to leave again, so I'm going to go back in, talk to him again. Say, move that hind. Thank you very much. He wants to leave. I'll go right back into talking to the hind. Thank you very much. Go in, talk to the hind. And there he just got worried, so I go with him, and that's why we've got a long rope on him. Because he's not used to being confined. So we set it up again. There, that's better. And now I give that to him. So it's like, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll say howdy to you. Because he came towards me. Now we'll go to the other side. So I step off to the side, talk to the hind end. And he was right there. He actually came through with the shoulders. So then we'll go back to this side. Focus on the hind end. Create a little intent energy. If he doesn't, then I come in with some stick. There. And that time he thought about leaving but didn't. Yeah. Come into the hind end again. I've got a picture of moving the hind around the front. Oh, very nice. 
now I'll step off to this side. Can I get the same thing over here? He gets worried about the rope around his feet, but not as much as he did. So he keeps putting me into this, this eye here. So then I'll just move the hind until I get the opposite eye. So I'm gonna to talk to the hind. He's worried about the rope on the ground. So I'm saying move your hind in, unlock that hind. There was a thought, so I quit for a little bit, and then I ask again, having to get fairly firm. Oh, thanks. There. Now I'm going to move the hind until I get the opposite eye. There it is. So now I'm going to bring the shoulder over this direction. Talking to the shoulder, saying over there, thank you. And allow him to go out, give him some space there. He wants to come back in and just put me in the other eye again. So we'll just talk to this hind in again. Move the hind. You're, you gotta give me the hind, buddy. You kept moving the front there, I wanted the hind. I need some disengagement, there we go. And now I can ask for the front. Since we're up against the fence, can't really walk that way. So I allow them to come out of that. Going around this direction here. So I'll pick up. Focus on the hind end this way here, disengage. He gives me the other eye, able to shift the shoulder right on through. He goes around. I focus on the hind end here, saying disengage, thank you. Keep asking until I get the opposite eye. There it is. I keep walking and asking that front to go over here. So I'm saying move your front end over there. That's an idea. Over there. Good boy. Putting him into that other eye. Allowing him to go around. Bring him on back to me. So I'm just looking or observing where is he sticky? What part of him is not moving? So I'm getting the hind end pretty good this way now. So I say move your hind. There it is, I get the opposite eye, and now I say move your shoulder over there. Yes, and then allow him to go out. Show him the trailer. He's like, sure, I can go right on in there. So. So that was easy enough, a nice trailer loading. The only way he's ever been in trailer loaded before is actually just run in a chute and run in, but I guess his uh, 30 some hours in the trailer from North Dakota to here, he kind of likes it. So that's his place of safety. So come on out, buddy. We're not done out here yet. So he's finding that a good place to be. So I don't think we'll have much trouble with the trailer loading. 
It's just getting, getting him to the trailer and getting control over his feet. Come on, do you want to come back out? Or you're ready to go? There you go. Good boy. So my goal was is to give you this grand trailer loading lesson, but he's like, come on, let me in, let me in. So it's more about right now just getting control over those feet. Again, could I move that hind? Move the front. Good. Now can I move the hind this side? And there. Now we go this direction. See, he just wants to get over by his buddies. So I'll just keep allowing him to go back and forth. And every time he changes, I can just help him. Because he's, he's really doing this on his own, but I can start setting it up. So I can disengage, because I know he's going to get the front end to go this way. Nope, we're going this way. See, so after allowing him and then causing him to really go back and forth, and he's like, no, I don't really want to do that now. So I'll ask the front over. Good. Yeah. So I'm getting firm enough to get a response. If he's just saying no, I'm going to lean into it, I'm going to push into it, then I'm going to get firmer. There you go. I'm trying to get him off the fence here without him backing through between the trailer. Okay, we'll just go back in the trailer. And that's kind of a safety for him. He feels like, oh, I'm safe in here. I'm going to allow him to come on back out again. go with the rope there. He's not sure with that. So he's like, oh, I'll go back into my round pen. So just letting him wear the rope, getting him okay with that. So he's just desensitizing himself here. And that's why we've got it all set up in the arena, just for anything like this. Hey, buddy. There you go. Go on, get in. There, that's our trailer loading. Uh, it's like, oof, I'm just coming in where it's safe so I don't have to run around. Yeah.
All right, so I ask him back out again. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to leave that. He's ready for France. There you go, buddy. What a good boy. I'm just waiting on him to kind of saddle. Can he come back to me? If not, then I'll start asking him to move his body parts. So I'm going to say move over there. And then he's kind of Getting a little pushy. I was directing him around me here. Now I'll disengage. There. He steps through. He wants to keep going, so I'm going to say, okay, let's go this way. this way. There you go. I'm just allowing him to go around me. And pick up and disengage. So I put a feel on his nose. Throw an intent at his hind end. Yeah. And there he kind of softened, so I'm going to go on up and rub on him. Be like, yeah, just chilling out and hanging out is a good deal. That's what we're looking for. So, a recap on moving the hind, moving the front end around is as Step off and around your horse, focus on the hind end, and first get them just to start unlocking the hind end and moving. And then once they get it, you're going to keep asking the hind until you get the opposite eye, and then you can ask them to come through. We're kind of up against the fence here, so let's go on out here in the middle a little bit more. So I'm going to disengage, talk to that hind, talk to the hind until the front comes through. Talk to the hind until the front comes through. So I'm just trying to get him a little more out in the open space here. So every time he comes around, I'm offering him step back behind him a little bit, saying, let's go over there. Now I disengage. Thank you. If he can stand quietly, I allow him for a moment. Now I'm going to step off to Talk to the hind. Say hind end. I'm going to keep asking the hind end until the front end. Opposite eye. There it is. And he comes through. And then I allow him to go this way. I'm 
Now I'm going to talk to the hind in this way. Saying I need the hind in first because he's starting to just give me the shoulder, but I need his hind in, which there it's good. It's giving me the other eye. Now I allow the front to come through. And there was a little bit of sideways down the fence. Now I'm gonna ask him to step off this direction. There. And talk to the hind. There you go, buddy. So we're, <clears throat> we're getting the, the hind in the front. He mentally is still locked on over there, or still wanting to go. So this move, you can just keep playing with it. It's a great move to help them to mentally get back to you because they have to think about what they're doing when they move the hind, when they move the front through. And you got to see a lot of variations of it here because of where he went mentally. But you just keep focusing on that. As, as I get control over his feet, I start to get control over his mind. And see, he's starting to relax. You know, he's, he's breathing heavy and hard because of all the, most of that's because of the emotions that have come up. And he's learning how to regulate those emotions. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.